is wrapping their arms around the family of this four-year-old girl. Catherine Rodriguez was killed on Halloween night after she and her mother were hit by a car. Tonight, we're hearing from people who have known Catherine since she was a baby. 10 TV's Richard Solomon has their story. This picture of little Catherine was taken Monday, hours before she went trick-or-treating with her mother. It's sadly one of the last pictures taken of her before she was killed. Catherine was hit by a driver while trick-or-treating. And tonight, people in her community say justice is change. Every day started the same. Smiles, followed by loads of laughter. Her smile was magnetic. I just always remember her running in here and running out. The loudest laugh came from four-year-old Catherine Rodriguez. And every day started that way at a Better Choice Daycare and Learning Center. Anita Roman and Kelly Spence had cared for her since she was a baby. One of the openings that I do in the morning is, OK, children, let's look around. Who's absent today? And they all say, Catherine, where's Katri? That may be the toughest question she's had to answer. And I said, she was hurt by a car. And I leave it like that. So they think, oh, she'll be here tomorrow. And there's not going to be a tomorrow. A tomorrow they never thought they'd have to endure. A tomorrow without Catherine. It's not going to be the same. It'll never be the same. Catherine was dressed as an incredible for Halloween on Monday night. She went trick-or-treating with her mother, but just before 7, she and her mother were hit while walking in a crosswalk. Catherine sadly died at a hospital that night. I was just so excited to go trick-or-treating. Lord forbid, I never knew that would be the last time I saw her. Spence says change is the only justice they want. Change Columbus City Councilwoman Lourdes Barossa de Padilla is working on. She says city leaders are working on Vision Zero, a strategy that helps educate people about rules of the road and finding better ways to make streets safer. We can install tools, we can put things up, but if people don't follow those guidelines, even going five miles over the speed limit is the difference whether someone lives or dies. For Spence and Roman, each day will be harder, but they're hoping no one else will ever have to live through this pain.